Hi y'all, it's Tara coming back with another video. <clears throat> As you know, um, I'm moving back and forth between my place and my brother's place. So um, what I've been trying to do is instead of bringing the perfume with me, all of it, the big bottles, I've decided to look into my um, dresser drawers and find all these, you know, samples that I have previously ordered or received and try to clear them out or to wear, wear some of them and see if I wanna, you know, purchase a full bottle. And I'm here to, to talk to you about it. So a lot of these I'm smelling for the first time. <clears throat> Just to let you know, uh, first I have this. This is the Chopar. Uh, Chopar is a, like a jewelry house, expensive French jewelry house. And uh, they also have perfume that is they have an exclusive Lima perfume and this one is in this really cool like slip out long <laughs> sample thing and this one is basically neroli um neroli as you all know is like um uh, extracted from the orange flower it's the ex essential oil but it's not as juicy and orangey as the orange flower in terms of the orange flavoring or, or orangey, oranginess or juiciness. It's got more of a, maybe it's extracted more from the rind or something like that. It smells actually more like the um, essential oils that you get when you peel uh, an orange rind and it's slightly bittersweet and, but still sunny and, and nice. Um, it's on the fresher side and they mixed it with cardamom, which is like a spice that is very, prevalent. It's like a cooling spice. It's cooling and slightly sweet and camphoric spice that is used in Indian cooking. And I especially like to have cardamom with coffee or tea. It really elevates it and gives it a slightly um, uplifting, uh, slightly, very slightly sweet. It's not sugary, but it gives it a slightly sweet and slightly camphoric lightly minty type of cooling effect to it. So it does have an effect of making the uh, sunny and uh, slightly herbal neroli into something a little bit darker and uh, earthier. Yeah, but the thing is, this is actually For the price that they're probably selling this for, it's not worth the money. Um, because I think like the cardamom actually like tones down the neroli too much. There's no, it's not really uplifting. Um, but this is a dabber, so I don't know, maybe the spray is slightly more, but it kind of like tones down the neroli to the point where like you can barely smell anything. <clears throat> so this is a bust, which is fine because I didn't, you know, I didn't pay anything for this uh, tester. I mean, not tester, but this uh, sample. And it also smells more masculine. I mean, it doesn't smell like cologne, but it smells like a dark type of darker. It goes into a darker, muskier type realm or something like that. So this is no. So next we're going to do testing on these three samples that I got. Um, this is, these samples are the dabbers that you get when you order um, samples from uh, Lucky Sense. Uh, LuckySense.com is a really awesome, awesome um, store. They have an online, they have two lake locations in Los Angeles and uh, where you can go in and you can test the stuff like in person and they have a lot of knowledgeable staff, but they also have an online store, um, thank goodness, because I don't live in LA, uh, where you can, where they sell like some of the most exclusive uh, niche brands in America and uh, just not just exclusive, but also like more obscure, hard to find that you can't find at uh, any department stores, they'll have it there. And uh, they do offer, a service where they hand make dabber samples like this and for like 
three bucks to like, you know, five or six bucks. And um, so you can try the very expensive and exclusive perfumes before you even have to buy it. So you don't have to blind buy if you don't feel like it, you know what I mean? A lot of times they also have sales. There's a, like a, a special sales uh, tab there where some of their um, lesser known perfumes or stuff that they're discontinuing, uh, they might, they'll list them for sale there and off, often for like, you know, quite a lot off. So if you are, you know, wanting to get stuff that's like, you don't want to bite the bullet because it's like expensive. If it ever goes on sale, they might, they might have it there. So you can maybe sign up to be notified or something like that. But anyways, I digress. I found, I bought these like three or four years ago and I, I just found them. They come, they came in this like little baggie like that. And I found them in my drawer. So I just thought, you know what? I'll just take it along and see what they're like. So Papillon is a house that is known for kind of like Orientalish perfumes kind of like throwbacks to the strong perfumes of the past. I have tried one of the ones that I really liked was this one called, I believe, Fawn. And Fawn is like um, a type of um, woodland god, back a Greek woodland god that has to do with the forest and the trees. Like, so the word fauna comes from that uh, Greek word. And that one I really loved. That was like a, um, a vintage oak moss one that was really cool. Um, yeah, so the ones that I got this time were Salome. Like the biblical character. And um, yeah, so she, Salome is did the dance of seven veils and, you know, got the head of John the Baptist or something. I don't want to go in, uh, not really sure what else happens, but anyways, she's supposed to be kind of like wild and sensual. I mean, or at least that's the image that is conjured up by that name. Um, and the perfume is very sexy and very like old fashioned powdery. But it has, I believe it has like civet or a lot of these like sexy musk in there. So it's like a oriental musk. It's very strong and it's really like my antithesis. So I'm guessing no for me. Um, I'm, I'm glad to have it, you know, in the sample though, you know what I mean? Because it's good to have these really unusual perfumes on hand to play with. Uh, secondly, is this one. And this one got a lot of um, got a lot of attention several years ago, and this one is called Tobacco Rose, and this is more up my alley. It is a tobacco rose scent. The rose is really strong, clean, and lovely. It's like a a jammy, clear rose. Um, yeah, and it has like a slightly animalic tobacco musk background. Not bad. Out of all of these and the fawn that I had mentioned earlier, which was like a um, oak moss one, foresty oak moss one. This one's my favorite out of that line and I put it on this wrist. Yeah, so it's kind of powdery on the skin actually. And it's like a, a lovely powdery ambery tobacco rose. Very strong. Yeah, not bad. Good quality stuff. And then the last one is this, Anubis. So Anubis is the god, is a, the jackal-headed god of Egyptian, um, the ancient Egyptian religion. And this one is kind of oody smelling. I think this might be Oud and incense. So I think Egypt has a type of um, incense called kaifi, and it had been like um, put in so certain like uh, perfumes, like a uh, scarab beetle from zoologists. Uh, I don't know if this has it, but yeah, it's kind of slightly incensey and oud like smelling. So what do I say about that? Ooh. 
That is also, alas, a no. <laughs> I don't really like oud. Yeah, and this is one, this last one was actually the paper of this, paper of this, Neroli a la carte mom du Guatemala. So, yeah, all three of these, all, all four of these are a no, so that's good. Um, I'm just going to file these away for future reference. There might be a day, there might come a day when I'm just craving for some tobacco rose or oud <laughs> or this crazy salome. Um, I don't think there might be any day where I would be craving for this, you know. So that's probably going to be leaving my um, collection soon. Um, so yeah, this is just my sample clear out and sample sample appreciation and clear out. Um, I'm wearing this tiny free gift that I got from Sephora. <laughs> Look how small it is. So this is like one of those uh, gifts where like if you are, have a Sephora account and you just get enough like points, you can get freebies from every now and then once you've accumulated it. And this one is Tarte, T-A-T-T-A-R-T-E. That's like a lip product brand. And this is called Maracuja, which I think might be Brazilian. I think this is the type of fruit, Maracuja, juicy lip. So it's what I'm wearing right now. It's just like a sheer kind of your lips are better, slightly coralish, slight uh, pink and shiny and moisturizing lip balm. Moisturizing in a waxy way, not in a, a wet way or a moist way. Well, thank you for trying the, for experiencing the, um, sample tryouts um for today and please like and subscribe if you like have a good day talk to you later bye